G'day, my name is Joseph and today I'm here with Shamaine and Ian and Kimberly and today we're gonna take some time and minister the word of the Lord to you. So uh, I've been in my car accident, I'm sure if you followed a little bit what was happening uh, Sunday a week ago uh, I was driving, you know I was not driving, uh, someone else was driving in a car but I was sitting in the front uh, and uh, we went off the road and the car uh, then tumbled about four times uh, all the windows broke and uh, we bumped and uh, I really uh, hit my head uh, but while I was sitting in a car I, could, I felt God's presence and I felt the angels of God just pushing down on my shoulder uh, but when I went forward and I hit my head I actually uh, was unconscious for two or three minutes before the, the ambulance arrived there um, but uh, I, I prayed about it and the Lord said to me um, yesterday I need to get back on a horse and I need to start ministering to people and so I thought I'm gonna just change my strategy a little bit I'm, go I'm gonna try I'll see how long I can uh, keep it up but I'm gonna try to every single day prophesy to 10 people all right uh, so today uh, we I got 12 people on the list but Every day, I'm going to prophesy to 10 people. So if you would like to receive a word, you can just in the comment write your name and I will, um, uh, you know, on the next video that I make, I'll take the first 10 people and so on and so forth. And I'll just every day minister to 10 people. Now, tonight, me and Kimi are still going to go live. Um, Jan and Charmaine are away on, um, they're going to Moinoi. Um, Elisma's not here. Um, uh, Kayla's also not here. So it's just me and Kimi. Amy is even uh, away this weekend. So me and Kimi will come on. So we're not going to prophesy to a lot of people, maybe 20 people or so. I'm actually, according to the doctor, supposed to be sleeping all the time. I'm not supposed to do anything other than just sleep uh, for at least two weeks. So that's why we'll probably just uh, a little bit later when we come on live, we'll just prophesy to a smaller amount of people. But I'm going to do my best to be faithful to every single day, prophesy to 10 people. Uh, so, and, and you can just put your name uh, on the list uh, if you would like to receive ministry. All right, I want to minister to Nareen uh, Theron. All right, Theron. Uh, Nareen, what the Lord is showing to me is how you in this massive battle of a tennis match and how you hit the ball over the net every time because you are disciplined uh, and uh, you you are strong uh, and you have a lot of perseverance and you just keep eating that ball uh, and then I see how a few times you thought I made a mistake and then the ball was right on the line it wasn't out and I felt that the Lord the Holy Spirit is gonna help you through this battle you're not gonna give up and you know it's precision tennis is not like you just hit the ball <laughs> there's a specific method and skill set that you need to use to do it and i feel that you have that skill set and you have the methods but you also have the pers perseverance and endurance and the obedience to listen to the holy spirit and i see how you win this match and how you overcome and how you hold up that um what's it the plate or whatever they give to the to the women when they win win the championship but i see how you hold up that that trophy uh and and you you are victorious and so in the situation where you are right now, the, all the voices is shouting against you. You know, when you go and play a match and it's not at your home field, but it's at the, um, the opposition's home field, then everybody boos you, but they cheer their uh, um, person on. But I felt that the Lord says, His angels is with you. God loves you. And there's people that love you and pray for you and cheer you on and you are going to overcome. God bless you. Uh, next word is for James. James, God loves you so much. I just feel like how God shows me how, how I, I see like how you're getting cattle. But I see like how you're getting a lot, a lot, a lot of cattle. But with the cattle, I see like how you get land as well. You can't have cattle if you don't have land for the cattle to be on. But I feel like how God just shows me how He like multiplies you. Um, whenever it feels like you you going into like a problem situation, I feel like how God just takes 
uh, like an eraser or something like that and he, he like erases that that difficult circumstances and I just feel like how God shows me that whenever you go through difficult things how God takes it away but then he gives you more but I feel like how God says that he's trusting you with a lot um, and I, 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 I just see like how God shows me because he's like trusting you a lot with a lot and you're multi he's multiplying you a lot I feel like our God shows you, shows me that you should be like a, a river and not a dam. That you should give that which God gives you, you should give to others as well. When God multiplies you, you should multiply. Find somebody and multiply in their life as well. Be blessed. Thank you, James, for being here tonight. Please remember right as a comment. The next word is for Akim. Akim, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw an interesting picture. You are at the ocean. There's a riptide that actually wants to pull you in and suddenly it's almost like Moses opening the Red Sea where you are on dry ground. So it feels like the enemy wants to suck you in and drown you in the provision that the Lord sent for you. Uh, but I just see how the Lord says, because this is my provision for you, I'm going to make a way where there seems to be no way. I'm going to make it where it seems impossible, where the enemy thinks, now I've got you. The Lord says, well, I'm just going to blow your mind i'm gonna give you a breakthrough that you didn't even think is possible and i just see how the lord says that because you are faithful because you are pushing through and you always allow the goodness of god into your heart um he, he loves to work with you be blessed amen Aiken. 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 please leave us a comment the lord um, please leave us a comment this next word is for Boos Boosie. Yeah, Busy Pearl. Busy Pearl. The Lord shows me how you are carrying something that needs to go a distance. The, like how a long time ago when people would carry water, they would have a stick and then a water and then a water and then and then walk. And the Lord shows me how it is it is weighing on you and it is heavy. But he says that, that I have given you this to carry. And the Lord says, I want you to keep carrying. The Lord tells me how you're walking up this mountain. And you say, who's ever up on that mountain or ev who's ever in the distance there needs this water. They need what you are carrying. So hold out and have faith in the Lord to know that this is this is all for His glory. That at the end, there will there will be there will be um, to show of of your what what you have done but right now with every step that you take see how how you not only walk closer to the lord but you also grow and you also get stronger be blessed hey bussy god bless you his hand is upon you and i just see that you must not lose your joy when you're a joyful person you are fantastic but then when you don't have your joy then you really struggle and so i just felt Joy is really a, a key for you. You must protect your joy at all cost. All right. So the next uh, word is for Brenda. Uh, Brenda, the Lord shows me this massive banquet that you're organizing. And you're getting important people and family members and people that you really want God to minister to, to come to this banquet. And what you do is you say, if I just invite everybody, then somehow it's going to work out and everybody's going to enjoy all the food. But I just felt that the Lord says, no, plan, think clearly, get some coaches, get people in your life. The, the things are built layer upon layer. One, two, three, four, five. You can't just say, okay, let's just throw all the building materials on a heap and hopefully it ends up being a house. So I just felt that the Lord is saying to you that a lot of your family members are going to get saved they're going to get baptized with water. They're going to get baptized with the Holy Spirit. They're going to get to know the words of God. They're going to have to receive love and deal with unforgiveness and stuff in their life and generational curses. So it's going to be like step by step. And I felt that the Lord is just wanting to uh, give you a proper strategy and a plan so that you can overcome. And I felt that the Lord has put you as a beacon, as a door, as a pioneer in your family and in this group of people so that you can bring the gospel to them and you can bring healing and salvation you can be that door remember jesus is the door the way and the truth the life but he says now we must follow in his footsteps that means we become the way the truth and the life and we are that door and i felt that the lord is making you a door 
but it's gonna it's gonna be step one step two step three and so just be patient and work with a plan and you're gonna see how you're gonna overcome god bless you our next word is for lalani lalani i just heard how god says he's gonna give you supernatural favor um, I saw like how you're walking in a room and you've got like an anointing oil um, thing with you and you like put the anointing oil on your hand and then I see like while you're walking in the room it's like you're touching every corner, every wall of the room. It's like you're walking around the room and then around the building and then around the parameter of the place but you're touching everything with the anointing oil and while you're doing that i just see like how you're praying in tongues doing that and then i also saw like how you're dancing with flags and you were like flagging but but i feel like how this is all in this specific area and while you're flagging i felt like how like a fire started to arise and that fire felt like everything that was not supposed to be there how that fire consumed all the evil that weren't supposed to be there and i just felt like how god's spirit started to manifest and started to rain down on that area and i really feel like how god shows me that your hands is like healing hands how he's like activating your hands with that anointing oil on and that authority to pray for people how you like praying for people and healings start happening and i felt like how god just shows me that in your spiritual realm in your spirit how just like a shift happened as well and i see like how you're like being transferred or being made higher in the spirit be blessed thank you leilani for being here tonight please remember right to say comment the next word is for willem willem the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i see you running in a hamster wheel and every time you stop the hamster wheel stop and that is a picture of your provision uh, your income your momentum and i just see how the law changes the circumstances now you're running the hamster wheel it's going good you step out but the hamster wheel keeps on turning and then you go back and you just carry on and i just see how it's your future is not dependent on how much you put in and how much you feel like you have to do everything always. I see how the Lord says, I'm going to help you to make things perpetual in your life. How things will just start to work out for you and how it's, it's going to be a good and a lovely season. So enjoy it. Be blessed. Amen, Willem. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for um, Johan. The Lord shows me how he is making available to you um, this new wisdom but the lord shows me it as it like a computer that he is plugging it in the computer and that you need to go as the mouse go click it and download it that you he is holding it there for you but you need to reach out and grab it you need to see in the spirit how you download into into your into your mind i see this is very very very, very practical that you can start applying almost immediately once you received it. The Lord shows me how, how He is just coming and anointing your feet, that you don't take unnecessary steps, but every step that you take will be efficient and purposeful. And He also shows me how He's bringing oil and He's healing joints, that you can move properly, especially like in your wrists and your knees, that you won't feel like pain or pressure. The Lord is coming as a, as, and releasing that, but you must step into it. And I already see how you must start declaring this healing over you and, and over your family. Be blessed. Hey, hey, uh, Yuan. So what the Lord shows me is uh, your left leg is broken. Okay. So I, I don't know about your health if your legs are broken, but that's what I saw. And you know, in the spirit, a right is always uh, leaning on God, leaning on the spirit. That's why God said, throw your nets in on the right hand side for the supernatural supply of God. But Peter and the guys went and night throwing the nets on the left side. So the left is like your own strength. It's your own thing that you do. But I saw that left leg was broken and you, and you were using crutches. So the crutches were in the middle of your hands, really hurting you. And it was uncomfortable for you and you didn't feel well. And then I see how Jesus comes to you today and he touches your, your leg and he says to you, Son, I'm strengthening you. I'm repairing your leg. And you know, you, it, uh, uh, it looks like you're a marathon runner and you can run very fast. And you can run very, uh, very well. And you can do well in business and you can do well in lots of things. But because this leg was broken, it's almost as if you, you were kind of going slower and you, and you can't move properly because your leg is broken. But the Lord is saying to you, son, today I'm putting the 
those uh, spalker, whatever you call it, uh, on, onto your leg. And I'm, and I'm healing and I bring restoration to your leg so that you can run again. And don't feel, in the past I could run a marathon, I could do this business, I could do this thing, I could build that. And say, I, I can't do it anymore. I feel that the Lord says, it's going to be full restoration and you're going to do what you have done in your old day that, that you've done in your young day. Now remember in the Bible it talks there about Moses. It says there that when Moses died, he had his full strength and he could see clearly like he was when he was a young man. And I just felt that the Lord is giving you that promise that he's bringing full restoration to you, not only physically, but also mentally with your finances, with your business, with your life, with your strength, even with the wisdom that you can give to your children. I, I just see that restoration coming to you. So God bless you, Johan. Uh, so the next word is for Sonia. Okay, so Sonia, I was praying for you and the, and the Lord showed me my, my grandmother who, who already passed away. They, they had a little bit of a vineyard there on the farm and then uh, all, the, all the wine, sometimes what they did, they had some wine that they had too high alcohol uh, in it. Um, so she would always get that wine. And then she would take the, the lamb uh, shank uh, or she would also take a, a big piece of, of meat and then she would kind of let it rest in that, in, that, uh, in that wine and then she would put it in the oven but she put the oven low and then she put it in already the evening before and then it like sits the whole night in the whole day and then when you eat that evening that meat even on earth, I, I, I tell you, you can't describe it any other way. This is, it's the best meat I ever ate in my, wife, in my life. I, I don't want to say my, my <laughs> wife can't make meat like that, but uh, uh, certainly I haven't eaten meat ever since then, <laughs> that meat. Okay? Because my, my grandmother did, made it so much. But then the Lord showed me your heart. And the Lord said to me that your heart is like that choice cut of meat. You are, have such a wonderful heart that God has given to you that's full of joy, that's full of love, that's full of tenderness. Uh, but you need the wine of the Holy Spirit. You know that wine that like my grandfather couldn't sell it because it had too much alcohol in it. That wine. No, that, that wine that's a little bit, um, uh, uh, you know that, uh, what I call it, um, ox blood. That wine. No. Anyway, so... Um, uh, that's the wine that the Lord is pouring over you. Now, how that happens is you go into the presence of God and you just lie and you soak in His presence and you say, Lord, minister to me. And then what the Lord does, He comes and He brings His new wine. In the Bible, it says there in uh, Acts chapter 2, when, when they were asking um, Peter, but you know, what's happening? All these people are praying in tongues and they look like they're drunk. Then he, he take that piece that, that the prophet Joe was talking about. He says the Lord is going to pour out new wine. And I feel that's the wine that the Lord is releasing on your life today. So that you can be like soft and you can, you can be so sweet um, like that, that meat that my grandmother made. Anyway, that's, that's the picture that the Lord showed me. God bless you. Our next word is for Natalia. Um, Natalia, when I prayed for you, I just felt like I just saw. I think it was Joshua and the babe and the Bible that that uh, we, uh, came into the presence of God. But he said he had like a filthy rag on. He had like a dirty rag on, and I just felt like how you come into God's presence and you feel you feel like you've got a dirty rag on. It feels like you're not worthy to be there. But I see like how God comes in the spiritual realm and you're there with Him. And I see like how you go to the river of the Father with, with, with the Father. There at the river, you're like being baptized by the Father. And once you're being baptized, I see how you get out of the water and God puts like a new, white, pure, clean linen robe on you. And I just feel like our God says that you don't have to feel unworthy. You don't have to feel like you've got it like a dirty rag on because Jesus already paid the price for you on the cross. When he paid the cross, price for you, when you accept Jesus in your life, when you ask for forgiveness and you take the fullness that Jesus has taken um, for you, how that robe that you've got on, that dirty robe is already being cleaned by Jesus' blood. 
God loves you very much and God thinks you're very, very precious to Him. Be blessed. Thank you, Natalia, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Ingrid. Ingrid, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you running to the airport because you're about to miss your flight and I just see how the uh, attendant that needs to book in your things is like, oh, so Ingrid, how was your day? And he's just not working with you at all and there goes your flight and you think you lost it all meantime there was a better flight prepared for you and i just see how the lord says even though you think that it takes some time uh, you're not going to miss what i've planned for your life you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna uh, it's not going to depart and you're not going to be part of it you're going to be part of it and i just see how you're going to enjoy it but the lord says my timing is perfect even though you feel rushed and you feel that it's supposed to happen now the lord says at the right time it will happen be blessed um, and Ingrid, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Takona. The Lord shows me how He's clearing your sinus, 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 sinuses, 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 and He's going to teach you how to breathe again. The Lord shows me how how you must release this this label that the world has placed on you that you can't do this and you can't do that he's saying speak life onto your situation and onto your body that it that it will be healed that because always jesus people they had the faith and they were healed the lord says have faith in him that he can heal you because he can that because when you when you say lord it is not my strength it is it is not it is not me but there are things that you can do. I see how the Lord's going to give you things that you must start implementing into your life that will that'll help you to heal. But it is also faith in Him and a miraculous healing that will come forth out of you when you trust in the Lord. Hey, awesome. Tacoma, God bless you. Well, thank you uh, for listening to the ministry. Um, uh, if your name were not on the list, uh, you can still listen to the words. Uh, and allow the Holy Spirit to, to speak to you and build you up. Remember, the Lord is not a, a respecter of persons. Uh, a prophetic word for one person can also be a, be a word for you. All you have to do is just say, Lord, I receive that word uh, for myself. Uh, and the Lord will speak to you. Uh, I also want to encourage you, uh, if you want to support unity with heaven, yes, there's a few ways how you can do it. Uh, the first thing that you can do is you can subscribe, you can write a comment and you can even let a friend know if they would like to receive ministry, then they can come on and they can write their name. The Lord gave me in 2018, 2019, He spoke to me very clearly and He said to me, it's necessary for one-on-one -on -one personal ministry to people. Now I know there's lots of prophetic people all over the world that give corporate words, they give corporate words to churches, to cities, to nations. To presidents and i've also done that but the lord said to me he wants me to give personal prophetic words to individuals that's that's what he wants me to do and so that's why what i've been doing uh, over this last uh, few years okay first we started on on facebook and then later on i moved over to um to, to youtube okay so uh, the one thing that you can do is just write me a comment and just encourage me other thing that you can do if you want to support me is you can click, you'll see uh, inside the comments, there's a place where you can sign up to the newsletter and there's also a place where you can hit on the PayPal button and you can donate an amount of money. So if you want to donate, I don't know, $5 or $2 or $10 or $100, whatever, something like that will really bless me. And there's also a seed that you can sow. And so I want to give you the opportunity to do that. I also just want to say is, um, I've been prophesying for years and years to hundreds of people and I've never once asked someone, give me money and I'll prophesy to you. But if you feel, wow, I want to bless Joseph, I want to bless his family and you want to give something, I would really appreciate it. All right, so family, uh, we're going to be back on live a little bit later again and I look forward to see you there. If you, on a future video, want to also receive ministry, you can also just write your name in the comments. God bless you.